Time you have. It doesn't tell you. Not for this. It says something about it. you just pour it all out because you don't want it sitting in a bucket because it'll get hard in the bucket. It'll get harder faster because it'd be a, more of a yeah. mass. Do you want you me know? to use one of these and help you scrape? Um, I don't know if you can. Oh, you're, well, doing, you're doing it pretty fast. So our first time pouring epoxy didn't go as scheduled, as planned, as anything. Very poor timing. Um, and it, it, the way that, the reason this didn't turn out is my fault. Just in the fact that I couldn't sit on it. Right as soon as I poured the epoxy out on this tabletop, the guy from the internet place came out to move the satellite from our trailer to our house. So I just poured it out. My wife comes up, says the guy's here to move the satellite and he needs a tree dropped. He's already looked at it. He needs one of the trees dropped to get a sight to the satellite. So it all hooks up. So I had to take time out right in the middle of this and suit up, put my gear on, plan to, you know, which way I'm going to drop this tree and get it out of the way so that he could get on to his next job. Maybe I, I, maybe I could have put him off and made him wait. That's, it's not my thing. I don't like to do that. I know that he's trying to make, he's trying to get his job done and move on to the next job that he's supposed to get to in a day. So I put this on back burner and didn't get a chance to torch it enough to get all the air bubbles out. And that's why there's air bubbles and imperfections kind of all over it. But I'm gonna sand this down with 220, 
320 sandpaper and flood coat it. This is just an original coat that you put on. You're supposed to put like a thin, thin coat on wood and concrete and porous materials to get the epoxy in those cracks and crevices to help prevent a lot of air bubbles from coming out in your flood coat. So this coat was probably a little bit too thick, um, just in general, and I didn't get a chance to torch it enough to get all the bubbles out and make it all flow out real nice. So it's definitely not the epoxy's fault. This is FX epoxy or FX epoxy brand. It's rated up to 500 degrees. It's a very, it's a brand that gets very good reviews. And uh, I, I know it's not the epoxy's fault. I know it's my fault for not being able to, to sit on it and make sure it was right. But we're gonna make it right. It's gonna turn out right. I have confidence that after I sand this down and clean it and get it prepped for a flood coat, I have confidence it's gonna turn out good. Unfortunately, that's gonna be in another video because I wanna put a video out showing the countertop and the progress in it because it's been a while. So until next time, guys, go make something. Ta-da, ta-da.